People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. Now, obesity and type 2 diabetes in children. This was an interesting article because one of the things that it showed is that it's not just an obesity problem. We have said multiple times, well, with the obesity epidemic, diabetes is now becoming an issue for adolescents and even children. This was systematic view, a meta-analysis in the JAMA Open Network. And what they found was significant problems with thin people, especially among girls, having risk for type 2 diabetes, even without obesity. This is part of this continuing process. As we're getting better and better awareness of the problem, we're doing more and more testing and we're finding more and more problems. So some details on it. It was a meta-analysis and included 53 articles, 8,942 pediatric patients. The overall obesity prevalence among the diabetic patients was 75%. So again, one fourth of these kids were not obese. The prevalence of obesity at the time of diagnosis was 77%. Males had a higher odds of obesity. Asians had the lowest. White participants had higher prevalence of obesity. Skinny people, especially girls, had a risk of type 2 diabetes without obesity. And obviously genetics is playing a role here. One of the questions that we have, especially with this gender disparity, is how much of this is a muscle and exercise thing? We do know that regular use of large muscle groups in our body provides an escape hatch. It bypasses ailing insulin receptors. But again, it's going to take more time, more digging to find out exactly what's going on.